Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be answering the question that I get asked almost every single day, which is how I get my hair to be wavy and like crimpy, I guess you can say. And since I have long hair, I am always doing this to my hair because it doesn't require any heat every time. I wear this hairstyle i get asked at least five times a day like how i did it and what i used even people on my social media ask me like how i did my hair so i just figured i would make this video and show you guys exactly how i do it so if you would like to see how i did this to my hair then just keep watching okay so i always start this the night before i want my hair to be wavy with freshly washed hair so once i get out of the shower i towel dry my hair so that it's like 70 percent dry or so and it usually looks like this then i go in with my leave-in conditioner the one i use is from revlon um out of all the leave-in conditioners i've ever tried this one is by far the best it makes your hair smell so good and it makes it look so like shiny and just like really nice so i usually spray it evenly around my hair and just brush it out then i part my hair and i do two french braids i only recently learned how to do french braids so if you don't know how you can just use regular braids but just start them as high up on your head as you want the waves to start so i personally start from the very top of my head because i like when the waves start the root but it's completely up if to you. If you are gonna use regular braids, I would recommend sectioning your hair maybe into four sections and doing it that way. But I usually like to do just two sections. And this is what they look like when they're done. So it's the next day and I had my braids in overnight. As you can see, it's really like frizzy and like messy and stuff, but I found that the longer I keep the braids in, the better the waves come out and the longer that they hold. I almost always do it overnight because that's how long it takes for my hair to be completely dry and you want to make sure that your hair is completely dry before you take them out of the braids because if they're still damp, then the waves are just going to fall right out, especially if you have long hair like me. I just got ready, I did my makeup, I usually like, like I said, will leave them in as long as I possibly can and like take them out right before like I'm about to go out. So, I'm going to take them out now, but I also wanted to show you guys another tip that I usually do. So, the same leave-in conditioner that I use when my hair was damp, sometimes I like to literally spray like the smallest amount on the ends of the braids. Like, literally just like, I don't know why, but I feel like it almost works, not like a gel, but almost like it just makes the waves look more like shiny. I don't know if it actually works, but like in my head it does, so... That's just something I do if you want to try that. Yeah, if my hair is not completely dry, I do sometimes would put a blow dry to it, but it really like works the best if you leave it overnight or even like I've even left my braids in for like a whole day and then took them out. You just really want to make sure that your hair is completely dry. Like that's my number one tip. Because even when I blow dry it, I find that it didn't come out as well as if i like let it air dry by itself so yeah okay so now i'll show you guys how i take it out all right so when you're taking out the braid i do this very carefully like i literally go for each one and just like unwind it and you don't want to brush through any of the hairs you literally just want to like unwind it like this I'm not brushing any of the waves out i'm just unwinding it I'll come closer and even when I get to the top I just continue to just unwind it without brushing them out that's like a really big thing because then they'll get all frizzy and like big and not like how we want them okay you just like push it to the side now do the other side So now we have this. So usually right when I take it out, I like won't touch it for like a few minutes almost. Cause I like want them to like set in place. Cause if you start like brushing your hands and like touching them a lot, they're gonna like fall out and like be all like frizzy and like not 
tight and like shiny curls like how it looks like right now i usually just put it behind me like let it sit for a little bit so obviously every time i do my braids like the braid may be a little different because like i'm not like really good at doing braids but so yeah like i said sometimes the braid maybe i did like the braid like like i started the braid wrong or like i started it in like a weird way so like sometimes these front pieces will look look a little weird that does happen then i cheat a little bit and i use a little bit of heat and i'll show you how i do that right now even though they don't look that bad i'll just like do it just to show you guys so i do have a crimper it looks like this it's from bedhead i'm pretty sure I don't use this a lot because I don't really like putting heat on my hair when I could literally do it like this. So, but it does come in handy for like if you like some pieces look weird or like you need to fix like the front pieces, like I said. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I use this. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. Since these pieces frame your face, it really makes a difference when you like go over it with this. Like, if you don't like the way it looks, it's hot now. So, when I use this, I always, like, I don't even know why, I guess it's just like the way the shape is. I always hold it so that the flat part, like you can kind of see, like it's kind of more flat up here, is facing the outside. So this part is facing my head. As you can see, it's like a really like deep, like crimp. So I don't press it all the way because like I don't want like a really like deep crimp if that like makes sense so i'll literally like take it and let me go like this like really quickly like a few times and then just like that and like sometimes if i like the bottom i'll literally just do it once in the on the top like just to like make it look a little better and i'll do it on this side too so i always have the flat part out away from my face and i literally just like bounce it like this like three or four times and see like it just makes such a difference so yeah i didn't really have to do a lot to my front pieces but like sometimes like the front pieces really don't look good so i go over the whole thing but i just wanted to show you guys like how i do use this and i found that it really looks a lot better when you put the this side facing outwards so that's this okay so once you're once you like the way that they look, you're gonna use hairspray. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I literally have do not touch them at all. And it just sets so nicely. And like, even though it's a little frizzy at the top still because of the braid, I just flatten it down a little bit and like spray it. But it's really important to not touch them. So now, once you're ready to spray, I do like light sprays and I go like this. Just all around. Sometimes I'll even like scrunch it up a little like this, like gently. On the other side. So yeah, that is literally how I do it. It's so easy. And people ask me all the time. So there you go. That's literally all I do. And this is the final product. <laughs> That is all my tips and tricks to how I get my hair like this. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below anything else you guys want me to show you. And I will definitely do that. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an upload. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It'll both be linked down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.